Okay, hello. Happy 16th day of Myasthenia Gravis Awareness Month. And I feel like garbage because I ate at Denny's last night with my kids because it's Father's Day weekend and they've been wanting to meet to eat there forever. So I did it and I regret it, but I don't regret hanging out with my kids. This is the next video in Myasthenia Gravis and Nutrition. Today I'm going to talk about the first of my B-complex solutions, which is uh, BCD. And um, again, I am not a doctor, and this is just things that I found to help me have better days with dealing with Myasthenia Gravis. So, you're probably thinking, Matt, you say BCD, but isn't there more than one B vitamin? And that's correct. There's a bunch of them. Um, the ones that I will talk about are B1. Uh, I guess most people, they think of B12. They hear that all the time. You're probably already taking, if you're taking a multivitamin, it probably has B12 in there. And that's good. Uh, but you want to try to get all of the B, B vitamins, most of which you can get through nutrition. I mean, through foods. You don't really need to take the supplements, but it's good to take some just to make sure you're getting enough. So skipping B1, I can't remember what the real word is for B1, uh, but it helps with sore muscles and uh, it's going to help with that sheath on the outside of your nerves. Uh, it's going to uh, lower stress. Um, if you're eating lots of sugar and carbs, like I talked about, if you're drinking lots of alcohol or having lots of stress, that's really going to deplete your B1. And also if you're feeling stressed, it might help to increase with more B1 at that time. B2, this one I know is called riboflavin. Um, that can help with inflammation, which as you probably have heard, autoimmune diseases are often associated with inflammation. Um, and it can also help if you're, if you get migraine headaches, you may want to mess around with B2 because that can help with some headaches as well. B3 is also known as niacin. You may have heard of that as a supplement before. Um, that's something that in your body helps break food down into energy. And it's also going to help with cell communication. So kind of my theory when I started looking at nutrition was... At first I thought, oh, I just want to eat everything that's going to make your immune system stronger. Right? Nope. That just helps your immune system attack your body better. So my new theory, not a doctor, Matt from Maine, just some guy with MG. Um, my new theory is instead of eating things to strengthen the immune system, we want to eat things that's going to repair the immune system and it needs to repair it at the cellular level. Niacin is going to help with cell communication, so that can't hurt. B6. Generally speaking, B6 is relatively easy to get from foods. Uh, it helps with uh, f uh, if you have lots of fluid retention. Uh, it helps with n nerve damage. Um, if you're feeling really fatigued, obviously we have myasthenia gravis. We feel fatigued all the time. But let's say you 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 slept really long. You know, I had like a 10-hour rest period, a nap, and you're still having a hard time getting out of bed. Mm, you may be low on B6. It's going to help again with the mood and the stress and uh, the making of neurotransmitters. Um, if you're on any sort of birth control, like chemical birth control or prednisone, prednisone uh, or other steroids, those deplete B6. So you're going to want to boost up B6. And then the big one that people hear about is B12. Um, B12 is... Um, Mm, some sort of acid, I can't, nu nucleic acid, something like that. And it's generally, um, it, it's used as a, just a plain, like a material for, for cell development and, and cell material. So red, red blood cells, white blood cells, um, and this thing called uh, myelin. And that is, again, the, the, the outer... Um, like sheath of the nerves, you know, if you were to think of it as like an electrical wire, you know, it has that protective sheath on the outside. So if you're low in B12 and it's not creating all that healthy sheath, um, 
then it's it's you're going to start having these electrical problems in your nervous system. We don't need any more problems in our nervous system. Uh, you may experience pain, and that's even a source of where they believe I think MS comes from. Uh, the breakdown of the neuro connectors is because of that myelin uh, coating on the outside of the nerves. So um, one thing that I'm going to recommend for this is nutritional yeast. Okay. This is something that you can put on and almost anything as you would Parmesan cheese, but it's vegetarian. It is, um, it's not, it's not like brewer's yeast. It's not the yeast that's going to give you a yeast infection. Um, so I would check this out. This is Bragg's. This is the, the company that I use because they're very reputable, but you can find other, other types of it out there. The one other thing I want to mention is that there's a big truck going by this morning. Um, the other thing I want to mention is you need a really good pH in your stomach to properly absorb your, your B vitamins. So um, I would recommend adding a little, like maybe you've heard about these apple cider vinegar drinks, and I'll do a video on my crazy recipe for apple cider vinegar drinks. But to help absorb B vitamins, you need to have good healthy stomach pH, I would recommend drinking like a tablespoon or two in water every night or every morning to help maintain that healthy pH in your stomach. All right, I've been rambling on. That's a bunch of B vitamins. Leave comments below if you have some thoughts on this, um, if this helps you. If you have other questions about nutrition and myasthenia gravis, like I said, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an expert, but as someone who's been looking into this because I want to have more better days than worse days. All right, thanks for watching. Bye.